Good morning, ACHS. This is Gabe with your morning announcements. Junior girls interested in participating in Distinguished Young Women of Anderson County, formerly known as Junior Miss, will need to pick up a flyer from Miss Smith's room in 537. This is an excellent opportunity to earn cash scholarships and make memories that will last a lifetime. Current juniors, if you are interested in serving the prom committee for next year, please see Miss Adams or Miss Vassar to pick up applications. Applications must be completed and returned by Monday, May 24th at 310 to be considered. On to Dalton with your weather. Good morning, Bearcats. Here's your weather for the day. Today and for the rest of the week, we're going to be up in the higher 80s and lower 70s. On to your next segment with Gabe. Hi, welcome to a little positive info because we can all use some optimism. It's no secret that single-use plastic is one of the chief contributors to pollution crisis. Around 8 to 10 million tons of plastic end up in the oceans every year, and in recent years, our news feeds have been flooded with images that clearly illustrate the suffering of all plastic inflicts on the wildlife. To address this problem, the state of New York has passed legislation that will phase out millions of many single-use toilet tree bottles. State Senator Todd Kaminsky and Assembly Manager Steve Engelbright led bills which will take effect on the 1st of January 2024. The bills will disallow hotels and motels from offering guests single-use plastic toiletry bottles then smaller than 12 ounces. Instead, hotels are expected to start using alternatives such as larger refillable dispensers which can significantly curb the amount of wasted, hard-to-reach liquid left behind in the bottles, as well as the quantity of plastic waste every guest produces. New York joins the state of California which enacted a ban on single-use plastic toiletry bottles back in 2019 set to take effect at the beginning of 2023. Some hotels, like Marriott, the world's largest hotel chain, are taking the personal initiative to ditch plastic mini toiletry bottles before they became illegal. The Marriott committed to banning the mini bottles by December of last year. The company estimates that, that thanks to this change, 500 million small bottles, around 1.7 million pounds of plastic, will be prevented from going into circulation every year. This has been a little positive info, looking on the right side with you. Now on to your next segment. If any teacher, staff, or students have anything they'd like to be announced, please email us at bearcatpodcast at anderson.kyschools.us. Thanks for watching and have a great day.